Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about Azure Storage Access via Active Directory. This lab is going to show you how to give secure access to a private container to a user that has Active Directory account. It's first of all secure, obviously. It's in a controlled access and it can be conditional if needed, meaning if you want to give it to them based off a time or uh, any other condition you want to set, you can also implement that as well. And this follows the principle of least privilege, meaning if you don't give them access to a storage account or a uh, container, then they just won't have access. So let's go ahead and dive into the lab. Before we get started, make sure you have downloaded Azure Storage Explorer for your operating system. I'll leave a link to the in the description down below. Let's go to our Azure portal. First thing we're going to want to do is go to a storage account. Go ahead and create a storage account if you don't already have one. For this demo, I'm going to do a container. I've already went ahead and created a demo container and threw in a couple of dummy files. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is go back to your Da uh, dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and create a Azure a user account. So go to Active uh, Directory, click on Users. I'm going to select New User, and then we're going to type in Azure User. We're going to call this guy Peter, and we're not. We're going to put his name as Peter. Everything looks good. Go ahead and set, uh, hit Show Password. Copy that password. Put it in there. All right, everything else looks good to me. We'll go ahead and hit create. We haven't given access to Peter in any kind of way, but we need to go ahead and do that now. All right, everything looks good. Go back to your dashboard. Now you can go back to your storage account. Go to your account that you created. Remember these uh, names right here, they're unique. They're like your domain names for your websites. No two can be the same. We'll go to IAM. Hit add, add role assignment. Now for this, they have a lot of built in uh, roles already for you pre-configured. Uh, we'll go ahead and give uh, Peter a reader role, which gives, him which gives him access to all the resources, but he can't make any changes in the storage account. So the only thing I don't like about this window is when you select a role, it looks grayed out anyway, but it's selected. Anyway, we'll go ahead and hit next. We'll go ahead and look for Peter. All right, Peter's right there. He's under the selected members. Good. Go ahead and hit select. All right, Peter's in there. We'll go ahead and hit review and assign, and then review and assign. Awesome. It's going to add the role. Now Peter's part of the reader role. We'll go down to the containers, select on your container, and we'll go back to IAM. We'll go to role assignments. And we can see that Peter's here. He's inherited from the parent resource. And then we can also add him to the Azure uh, data role uh, for data reader. This gives him specific access to storage blob containers and data. Again, this is another built-in role. We can go ahead and hit select next. Go ahead and select the member, select Peter again. Hit review and assign, review and assign, and this is going to go ahead and add him to that uh, storage container. Now that we've got Peter in place with enough access, we can go back to the Storage Explorer, select on Add an Account, select Subscription. I'm going to leave it as Azure, hit Next. It's going to open up a new tab. We're going to hit Use Another Account, and we're going to want to go make sure that we copy and paste that uh, email that we created so we can go back to Microsoft Azure, go to the Active Directory, go to the user groups, click on Peter, copy this email right here. Now the first time you sign in it's going to make you change your password. So we'll go ahead and hit select next, grab that password it created, hit sign in, we have to update the password, so I already went ahead and created one. Azure's awesome. Copy and paste it. Hit sign in. All right, and then it's going to 
see if you want to protect your account and then it's going to say authenticated you can now return to storage explorer you might need to authenticate again if you close this browser tab go back to the storage explorer the account has now been added now if you want to open and see your files where do you think you're going to click on open explorer correct so now we can see that we are logged in with uh, Azure user. We can click on blob containers. Oh, gave us an error. Why did it give us an error? It's because I had previously already configured a user account with the same name when I was testing this demo before. But we can actually hit refresh and it should remove it. So the refresh button is up here again. So this is the only account we've got on there now. This isn't the test, this is the actual lab. So now we can go down to blob containers. We go to de uh, demo container and we should be able to see our files. Awesome. If you double click on the file, it'll automatically download it. As you can see here, starting transfer from the demo container to your file. This is just the thumbnail that I created for this video. I just put it in there. Now, if you try to delete a file, Let's try that. What do you think is going to happen? All right, let's delete and see what happens. It's giving us a warning. Go ahead and select yes. So what it's doing in the background now is checking to see if you have enough privilege to actually delete that. As you can see, it's not giving me the um, right to delete it because I don't have enough privilege. But I can read the files because I have that data reader file uh, pr a privilege uh, accessed or given to me. I can also uh, download the file two text and the file one text and it should automatically open. AZ copy is awesome. And AZ copy is a command utility that you use to copy blobs or files to or from a storage account. Yeah, that's a fun fact actually. <laughs> anyway, all right, it looks like this uh, demos come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys loved it, then subscribe. If you guys liked it, go ahead and like the video and uh, follow me for some more content. Bye.